Hi, my name is Miss Akers and I am the physics teacher here at Merkel High School. And I thought I'd just give you a short look at my classroom and my maker space and what the students are welcome to use to complete their physics. I teach physics in a project-based manner simply because I want students to be able to connect to it. So physics often sounds scary. Students often walk into a physics class the first day of school thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to be too hard. This is going to be too hard. But I've found that as these students come in and get their hands dirty and solve these complex problems in creative ways using the supplies we can provide for them, that they realize I can do physics. I can do hard things. I can do physics. And if I can do hard things like physics, what else can I do? And that's ultimately my goal as an educator and a secondary educator is to inspire students to realize they can do hard things. They can solve complex problems creatively because we need that. We need them to be that for us in the future. So they come in here, they're presented with problems, and they look for solutions based on the supplies we have. And hopefully in the future, we are of course limited on funds as any school is, but we can only have more supplies to allow them to become more engaged and more innovative to solve bigger, harder problems and only become more inspired to be who we need them to be as our future. We 3D printed our sandwich maker arm and uh, I think that it made us more engaged in our activity and our project and uh, obviously it pleased the kids uh, that came and watched us. The purpose of this is to hold the ball in place so that it doesn't blow it away when we start. This is the 3D printer we currently have. We have a MakerPot uh, Mini here, so we are a little bit limited by size, and it is our only 3D printer here at Merkel High School. And our goal is to go ahead and get this printer put on a cart that can go around to different classrooms as teachers are using it, and to have a larger printer here. Uh, we are in the library, which also functions kind of as a maker space. There's a lot of neat supplies in here that the kids can work with and solve creatively with. Um, our students use Thingiverse, but they also are being trained how to use Tinkercad more and more in their classrooms, and they're always encouraged to come in here and to print what they come up with and see what they've done. And as we get a bigger one and we have more resources, hopefully they can only become more creative and more inspired to keep going. <laughs> 